Shapfere is Ija. For those who don't know me, my name is Karabo Dynamite Nyalungu and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are returning, thank you very much because it means you've been here since day one. This jersey has also been here since day one. So now <laughs> you can see me clearly. There's lighting, there's a better camera. So we thank God. Thank you so much. And if you are new here, please do subscribe. On this installment of Hana Kawen, I'm here to tell you that different phases require different coping mechanisms. But it's so important that in your coping mechanisms, you debrief once you are through that phase. It is important that as someone from the township who didn't have a, a reference growing up, who didn't have a template growing up, someone who had to make it work, whether through sticking to school, whether through sticking to a particular sport, whether through mentally, you needed a certain type of attitude. You needed a certain type of approach to things just so you get out of the township. When you are out of the township, once you are out of the township, get out of the coping mechanism you needed for that time. Because we want you then to go out there and network intentionally. In the township, yes, because you needed to so badly get out of it. But now that you are out of it, it's important that you remain intentional. So that when you approach someone, you don't approach someone who does beauty contests when what you want is uh, to play tennis. So you go to people who you know. When I'm with this person, I will be talking about something that I know so that they see value in me saying I want mentorship. It makes no sense that you go to irrelevant people in the name of networking and you bore them there and you, you're probably speaking things you are not sure and certain about, you're not confident about in the name of networking, hoping that something no will happen. You can't. In, in order for people to take you seriously, invest in you, put their time in you, uh, yeah, efforts, resources, networks in you, you need to show them that you know what you're talking about. So if you have nothing to do with tennis, don't go to a tennis person thinking you'll somehow get to football. It doesn't work that way. Because firstly, you're wasting that person's time, but again, you are altering their perception of you. A chance taker is a chance taker and they can be seen. Don't underestimate people's uh, ability to see through a facade. If you are a Nomayini person, it shows. But if you are an intentional person, you know why you are approaching this person. Whoever you approach in the name of networking should at least be someone who's going to get you closer to where you want to go. Not just in jail. So if you are in a a space that requires you to just have a certain attitude. It happens also in a university space where you see that mm, a lot of my peers are graduating. Mklampe, you had added two or three more years there. You know, there's a lot of progress that your peers, the ones that you had first entered with in first year, that they are, they are making and you feel a bit stuck. You feel a bit, you know, uh, backwards with things. You feel like your things are not moving. There's certain things that you cannot be worrying yourself about because of that situation. So when we talk accommodation, aesthetics are the last thing on your mind because in that moment you need a mentality and an attitude that's going to make sure that you are progressing academically. At least there's somewhere that you are going for you to see the light and the light that you're chasing, you need to get closer to it. So there's a lot of things that don't matter at that time. Because you are focusing on getting this thing done. Once it's done, clock out. And I'm saying this even lifestyle-wise as well. There was a point where you couldn't afford certain things. Once you are in a position where you can afford, go. Go and taste the nice things. Don't go move with the mentality of survival in places where you should be living. Don't go with the mentality of hard work in places where you should be relaxing. So when we say work hard and play hard, know when and where to play hard. Know when and when, to, uh, when and where to work hard. Know when and where to relax because rest is not a, something that you reward yourself with. Rest is a, is, it, it's, it's compulsory, if I can put it that way. It's not something that you do because I know. And then as a result, then therefore, you know. And obviously different uh, strokes for different folks. You can't be out here chasing things willy-nilly because you need to get somewhere. But whoever you're chasing is not someone who's going to get you closer to where you need to be, right? So when you are in a position where you need a particular attitude, yes, stick to it. But once the goal is achieved, once you, even if the goal is, not, is achieved, once you reach a point where you feel like you need to pivot, 
Pivot also in your mind. Change also in your goals. It goes for relationships as well. If you were in a relationship where you saw that a lot of your goals or rather your values were compromised in that situation, when you go into another, let that be the first thing you address. Don't let, don't round things off to the nearest past experience. Give people chances as people who are new into the situation. Not, oh, this is another pattern happening. But you can't do that if the mentality of your, uh, um, if your mentality has not gotten out of the last phase, of the last relationship, of the last circumstance. And here's what happens when you clock out of a coping mechanism that was needed for a particular phase of your life, a particular environment, a particular season of your life, is that you extend grace to people who you would really like for them to help you. You know, so when you see people, you read the room. Is this the right time for me to be approaching and talking about this thing? In the moment that I'm seeing them, is it wise that I pitch my idea? Or is it wise that I instead ask for an email address? You know, because there are moments where you feel like I'm never ever going to see this person. So what are you chasing? Are you chasing the picture? Or are you chasing things that can be quite more given attention to if i if if i may make sense because you don't want to make people uncomfortable in areas where they've paid to be there and they're there with family and you're out there harassing them they're not even listening to you they just want you to be off right so you don't want to make people feel uncomfortable and these are people who you still want to meet you still want to you know be under their wing you still want to learn from them so even when you approach people you think twice i can't be there asking for pictures or when the environment is for them taking pictures with other people i can't be there pitching things that will take time away from what they're doing in that point so move in very fast to say okay here this is what i'm looking for let me do it and this mentality as well will allow you to when you when you are given an opportunity to just eat when we say it's a buffet you are not looking to feed yourself from hungers of three weeks back but you will understand this is a buffet and you will enjoy the moment for what it is you are not in a survival mode you are not in i need to be working mode when you are in a a place that is meant for you to be in a pleasure it means it's meant is meant for you who to hey when you are in a <laughs> when you are in a place for pleasure you are able to also take it in and not feel guilty about it because when the when you are in a place for hard work when you are in a place for being you know taking all opportunities as they come without looking and evaluating them you did that now that you are in a position where you can pick now that you are in a position where you can choose when you eat, how you eat, what you eat, when you order, don't deny yourself those things because you are thinking, yeah, a few months ago I didn't have this. Now that you have it, allow yourself to be in it. Let it sink. Let you, you know, yay, take it, embrace it, wear it. Don't deny yourself certain things because you've lived so much without them. That when the time comes and these things present themselves, you're still not exploiting them and taking a opportunity and taking the opportunities that are presented to you. So in every season of life, there's a particular attitude that's needed for that particular season. There's a particular attitude that is needed for that phase. Once you are over that phase, once you get through it, or once you choose, I am pivoting. Pivot mentally, get out of it mentally, change your attitude as well so that you are able to embrace the attitude that is needed for the next phase. You need to be very smart about this. And that's it. Kamala Mukarna Abotaina Maitinyalungu. Shapfere is